know that you're, you can feel the wind rushing through your windows. So now, as I talked about originally, we can now talk about how to make your window energy efficient so that uh, you can have a U-value close to a brand new window. First thing up is to put some type of weather stripping on. We have different weather strippings we use to seal up the windows. Uh, on the top and the bottom of a window, if you have your sash, we have what we call a bulb, but it's really kind of a little flip piece. Uh, we'll see a picture of this later, but we'll end up putting a groove in the top of the window with a router. This is the routers we use, and we have a slot cutter on it. The slot cutter rolls along the bearing and just makes a line. You can do this with a saw curve too if you have a thin enough saw and a table saw. Then we push this weather stripping into that groove and it just has a little bit of give. So when it's down in there it'll push and it'll seal the top and if it's the bottom window it would seal the bottom so that you wouldn't get air in there. Now on the meeting rail in the middle, you may see this on your windows, you have an angle. And that angle is made for the upper window and the lower window to come in close to each other so they can be uh, put tight with your hardware. Now we find a lot of air moves up through there. So we do the same thing we did with uh, the top, but we put a groove on the upper window with the router, running it along making our slot where the two come together. Then we have a brush that actually fits in there. So that will fit into the groove. And uh, when, the, when you clamp down on your hardware in the middle of your window, that'll pull the brush tight and it'll seal that area along your window too. So now we've got the top, middle, top, middle, and bottom done. Now we have to look at the sides. You can't, you need something that'll actually seal the sides of your window. The simplest system is something you can buy at the hardware store again. You'll see it in little round bags and it's just a metal spring steel. This actually will slide down, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you'll end up sliding it down between your window and, and your frame. backwards just so it'll work right now. Once you get it down there, you cut it off at the height of your window so you don't see it here. And then as long as your window is shut, your window your weather stripping will be nailed on there and it will be sealed up against your sides. You do the same thing on the top. You slide it up there, cut it off on the outside. And once you have the window open, your weather strip doesn't work then, but then again, it doesn't need to because your window's open. There are fancier versions of this. This is one that we buy ourselves. It's kind of a, a T-shape. And what this does, again, is we will use a sliding cutter and make a cut in the side of the window. And then this will the window will go up and down on this, so the air would have to move through in through the window and then out to get to get some movement through there. It's a little fancier way to do it, but it also makes a, a good guide and it looks a little cleaner, I think, than, than the gold stuff. Okay, now you've got your windows weather stripped and so they're pretty airtight. Now you're running into how to finish them up, how to get the U value really close to a good double insulated unit. Well, you're going to need a storm window of some type. Uh, with the storms, they find that the U value is very close because the air infiltration is, is actually very good or limited. Um, the storm windows, you can have a custom storm window made and you can switch it out with your screens every year. And you'll usually have a hook or two on top and then you'll push them in. Then you'll have clips or turnbuckles down lower that actually clip them into place. Sometimes people put hooks and eyes. In the, in the back of their, uh, their windows too, but this works fine. And if you don't feel like changing out your screens and storms all, all the time, they make units that are like this. This is what you call a storm screen co combination. 
This one's made by Marvin. There are some other ones made also. But it has both a storm window in both top and bottom, top and bottom, and then it also has a screen. So in the winter time you have it closed, and on the inside it looks like this. Then in the summertime you push it up in a box and you've got a self-storing storm window and it's wood on the outside so it looks good on your house and at the same time you don't have to switch out. Now the only drawback about this is is if you have a full screen and you want to use the top window in your double hung you you can get all the air in there but with this you have the glass in the top half all the time so only you get your air through the bottom half of your window.